Denny Hilton, I would love to play you more. The problem I have is that you're terrible. You want to talk about unprofessional? You have one goal all season, mate, and you're a striker. Right, what did you call me? That's it, you are done. You are done. Mate, you can stick your contract. I will pay you to go away. Now, how's that for professional? Hi guys, it's Mosby Bill and welcome to Season 2, Episode 9. As we follow in Dean Smith's managerial footsteps, we are at Walsall. And today we are playing, who are we playing today? Bradford City and the MK Dons. And we have a chance to seal a spot in the playoffs, an absolute minimum. And that would be a minimum that we want from this season, wouldn't it? Um, but as you have just seen, we have released Denny Hilton from his contract. He came to me complaining. He was kicking off again, so I just got him the hell out of the way. He has been a failure of a signing. He has played 16 or had 16 starts in the league, one goal, one assist. It's not good enough. It's not good enough. So, and if you're going to complain about it, just honestly, mate, go away. So that's what we've done. We've paid him 31 and a half thousand pounds to just get the hell out of Walsall. So good luck to him. Let's hope he does well in the future and we never have to deal with, deal with him again. Now, other news since last episode is we have had our youth intake. And it's not the worst. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. We have a couple of options here now. A reminder, I do like to name uh, these guys after my Patreon supporters. Link to the Patreon if you're not already a supporter and you, uh, and you can afford to do that. Um, so if there's someone here that grabs your attention, um, by all means, uh, let me know in the comments or uh, via another method, whether it be Discord or whether it be uh, through Patreon, uh, and we can we can look to rename. But Sam Harvey here looks a decent option as a ball-winning midfielder. Tackling of uh, 13, passing of 10, which is uh, which is fine. Got the aggression and the and the uh, bravery there as well. He could be, reminds me of maybe a young bearded wonder. Um, hopefully, but except he can play football, which is, uh, which is a nice little bonus, but he could be a decent one for us. Also as a defensive midfielder is Ian Charnock. Um, Again, a decent a decent player. Maybe lacks a little bit physically, but he can tackle, he can head. Decent positioning as well. Um, so yeah, there could be a decent, another ball winner in there for us. Uh, other options here, we're sort of scraping the barrel a little bit. Josh Granger looks decent. Uh, decent finishing, decent first touch. Vision's not too bad, so he could turn into something for us. Uh, Ross Presley, uh, a, a central defender. Uh, he just he lacks technically, doesn't he? The heading and tackling, maybe marking's not really there. Positioning is okay. He's 16, so again, there might be something. But if we are pushing up in towards the championship, I don't think um, he's going to quite be at that level. Uh, Lee Bird is there as well. He looks a little bit better apart from the heading uh, and positioning. So again, possibly not. And the last of the of the maybes here is James Smith. Uh, not too bad physically, but again, technically, I think that's where his game lets him down. So we'll see what happens. Um, you know, they don't cost us anything in, uh, per se. So let's hope that, uh, yeah, they develop nicely for us. But yeah, particularly Sam Harvey, there might be a player there for us. Let's have a look what's happened since last episode. Three games to catch you up on, starting with our match in League what, what league are we in? League 1, why did I say League 2 there? Against Forest Green Rovers. It is unbelievable that we didn't win this game. Gordon missed two absolute sitters. We subbed him off, put Perry Moss on, then he missed a sitter. Um, so it was just one of these games that we were destined not to win, unfortunately. So silly drop points at home, especially in a game that we were the better team and should have won. The next game is against Accrington Stanley. Just the one goal in this one. A cracking volley on the hour mark from Mitch Clark. This was a good performance just without the goals. Mitch Clark, a nice finish to, to get the goal for us. But otherwise, yeah, played well. You can see Candlin played a 6-2, which isn't great. Lavery, we had to sub him off. Again, he's just not quite been at it this season after his injury. Um, but the important thing here was that we did get the three points. Uh, the final game to catch you up on was our league match against bottom of the table, AFC Wimbledon. Josh Gordon smashed us into an early lead. And we doubled our lead just after half time through Killen Rame. And we added a third in stoppage time thanks to Mitchell Candlin. So this was a good performance against a poor team. Josh Gordon got us underway with a nice early goal. Rame straight after half time. And then Candlin with a little bit of a cherry on top in stoppage time. 3 0, good win, uh, good performance as well. If we have a look at what that means for the league table. Uh, we can see we are sitting joint top, only off, uh, not not top on uh, on goal difference with Preston. We've got a five point gap now over Bristol Rovers, and we need three points 
to take uh, or guarantee ourselves a spot in the playoffs. Now, our first game is against Bradford City, as I said. They are struggling just above the relegation zone. Second game is against MK Dons. So, all things being even, this episode should end with us guaranteed of at least a playoff berth. Let's have a look at what we're doing here in the first game against Bradford City. We are at home. We are the favourites. They are a Glenn Hodges coached team. Uh, we can see him here. Uh, there we go. A decent coach, maybe not the best manager, uh, but we'll see what we get from it. They're a balanced, direct playing style. We're expecting this sort of 5-3-2 uh, formation. We can see there, they're maybe ever so slightly narrow. Um, and yeah, so that's their key passes and passing network. Now, with their formation in mind... What have I clicked on there? That was silly. What of this one? Uh, with their formation in mind, this is how we're going to play. Partly to try and change things up a little bit, but also to try and uh, sort of overwhelm them in wide areas. So uh, it's an experiment. Maybe not the time of the year to experiment, but we're going to do it anyway. So Liam Roberts goes in goal. It's Cockrell, Mollett, Jules, uh, Corey Roberts, and Mitch Clark as the back four. Kinsella is the halfback. Um, a reminder that Shaughnessy has picked up an injury. I don't remember if that, that happened last episode. Anyway, Shaughnessy has picked up a bit of an injury, so he's not available for this one. Ramey and Redmond go in midfield. Moss as a right winger. We're going to try him out there. Um... He's a good player. I just need to figure out what position he plays. <laughs> and uh, yeah, but he's, he's good. So we're going to give him a go out in the right wing. Noland, uh, who is a very, very good uh, promising player as well. He goes out left. Candlin goes up top as our main goal scoring threat. Um, and if it doesn't quite work out, we have options on the bench to change things. So everybody's playing as expected. That is always a good thing. Um, and like I say, we need a win here to guarantee ourselves uh, a playoff place. Uh, we should challenge the team to go out there and prove a point. Um, all right, we've been on a good run lately. Go out there and impress me. And yeah, hopefully we get a good performance here. All right, and here we go. Now, of course, we don't want to win because it guarantees a playoff spot. We want to win because we want to go up automatically, if not as champions. Uh, and obviously we need to keep the results coming if we're going to do that. Um, it's always a tricky one against a team sort of down the bottom, struggling against relegation. Uh, you feel like if we can get a goal, uh, particularly the first one, then that will definitely help us. But what we have struggled a little bit in doing is is getting that first goal. Uh, you saw against Wimbledon when we got the early goal, we then went on and we and we scored, uh, you know, three for the rest of the game. But we have at times struggled against, uh, yeah, getting that first goal. So let's make some changes there. See if we're exploiting the flanks will help. We have got, I think this looks like we're going to have an attacking free kick right on the edge of the area. Rame to take it. We've seen him score from here before. Rame just passed the post. And there is no goal in the first half. There we go. 62% possession. We've essentially dominated the game. We'll say we're not pleased with that. We've got some nervous looking players, which isn't ideal. Um... Yeah, and as things stand, you do wonder if we're playing the wrong way here. Um, we'll get back out there. We'll tell them to get creative. And we just need that first goal. Come on, boys. We don't want to drop silly points here, please. Show some passion. Let's see if that works for us. Here we go. From the corner, Redmond. Can he pick out a wall store head? It's a penalty. It's a penalty. Rame to take it. Roberts has been hauled down. And Rame... We've seen him miss a penalty already this season, haven't we? He tends to do better from a free kick. Come on, Rame. We need this, mate. Rame sticks it away. Huge, huge goal. 1-0 to Walsall. Seventh of the season for Rame. We'll tell him to concentrate. And that is absolutely massive. A huge, huge goal if we can see out the rest of this game with a clean sheet. All right. Come on, boys. Come on. Redmond is still looking nervous. Jules is looking nervous. Boys, everybody just relax. Just relax. You're doing fine. You're doing fine. Hasn't been a classic game, has it? Not much by way of highlights. Let's maybe... So we'll see what happens here first. Redmond over a free kick. What have I done there? I've clicked on everything I shouldn't be clicking on. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I panicked and my mouse was on the other monitor. Guthrie's coming forward. Don't do this, boys. And Redmond... Sorry, Roberts makes the save. And now we've got work to do here. Defending a corner. Come on. Away. It's an easy one away for Kinsella. Can we get them on the break with that? No, we cannot. Can we get them there? No. It's a bit too much space out there, boys, and it's offside. All right, a little bit of luck, perhaps. 
Uh, Nolan is not having a great game out there on the left, is he? Let's try exploit the middle, even though we do have wide players, and see if maybe that gives them a little bit... By exploiting the middle might give them a little bit more space, strangely enough. All right, Moss, back there to Mitch Clark. Mitch Clark comes forward. He finds Perry Moss. Where's the back post? Where's Nolan? Nolan's getting forward. It's edge of the area for Redmond. Redmond take, brings it down. Redmond tries to place it. And it goes just past the post. Concentrate, boys. Concentrate. Let's bring this home for us. Let us start and close this thing down. Lower the tempo. Waste some time. Play for set pieces. And that's all good. Let's go defensive. It's not been a classic, but it's a big, big three points nonetheless. Rame's penalty gets the job done for us. Cockrell Mollett gets man of the match. We barely saw anything, so we'll just assume he played well. It was a let off though, boys. We need to be better. So with Preston not playing, it sends us top of the division, puts some pressure on them as well now to make sure they go out and win their game. The Bradford manager's unhappy. Uh, that's not our problem. Guys, wait right there. We'll be back to face MK Dons, and if we should... Um, assuming that they don't uh, win their game. we should That should have secured us a playoff spot, but we'll confirm that when we come back to take them on. Okay, welcome back. We are about to face MK Dons, and a win here, or even a draw, might actually be enough to secure us um, secure us a, at least a playoff place. I'm not quite sure why the other teams haven't played, but they seem to have had a week off, so we have a, a game more than a lot of the teams around us, but the important thing is that we won that game, so it, it doesn't really affect things too much. We are favourites for this one, although we are away from home. We are in a little bit better form than MK Don, so they are still in, uh, in decent form themselves. They're an Alex Neal coach team, a very decent coach he is as well. Uh, we can see him there. Um, an adventurous standard playing style. We're expecting them to come out in this sort of a formation. Uh, we can see they do like to attack down the wings. And we can see also their, their positional heat map. Though they did lose 3-0 at home last time out to Shrewsbury. So let's hope that continues. Uh, passing network is there. And their key passes as well. Very much they like to get into the final third, don't they? And this is a team that we're sending out. We're going back to the tried and tested. Uh, and hopefully a little bit more of a uh, fluid attacking performance from us. So Roberts in goal. Jules and Roberts at the back. It's Mitch Clark and Cockrell Mollett down the wings. Kinsella is the halfback. It's Reme, Redman and Boateng. It's Candlin and Gordon up top. Let's go. So everybody's playing as expected, which is always nice. Um, and let's hope, yeah, like I say, we need to be a little bit better, don't we? We should challenge the team to go out there, prove a point. Um, I expect you to win this game, boys. Let's try that. Let's try it. I don't usually like putting expectations on, but maybe that's what we need at this time of the season. And here I whacked my knuckles off the desk. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that. All right, here we go. Uh, not the best start for the manager, but hopefully everybody else is uh, is okay here. A decent start in terms of possession as well. Can we get ourselves an early goal? Doesn't look like we can. All right, let's just get the first goal, shall we, boys? Um, a highlight would be nice. Here we go. Oh, it's a bit of a lungy tackle there. Gordon comes away with it. Back to Kinsella. Kinsella's a terrible pass, mate. What is the defense doing? We've run away from Mason. Liam Roberts bails us out. But that was some kamikaze stuff. All right, boys, head on here. Away, please. It's... I tell you what, we don't look particularly good, do we? I don't think they've liked the expectation. We've nicked that, though, with Rame. He's okay with expectation. Here we go. Can he get a pass through? He goes wide. He gets it tackled away. And we uh, continue here with the throw. Cockrell Mollett in towards Rame. Rame is just an absolute beast. Cockrell Mollett with a interesting... He, he tried to bend it. Didn't quite work for him. And throw it into his face, goalkeeper. Decent uh, annoyance there by Candlin. Goalkeeper goes long. Can we get to that? We can. Clark heads it down to nobody, though. And I'm going to say already here, we need to give them a concentrate shout because we don't look particularly good, do we? Um, we can win that. We do. Uh, somebody get there. Rame does eventually. Can sell up for Redmond. Over there for Cockrell Mollett getting forward. Can he get a cross in towards Gordon or somebody in the box? No, we're just we're just giving it away, aren't we? Another ball forward. They're in behind us here. It's Healy against Roberts, and Roberts thankfully comes out. Corey Roberts will clear it away. Um, but we don't look particularly good here, do we? Let's try lowering this tempo down as well. Um, just We just need to get our heads back, don't we? Come on, boys. We've got another highlight here. We'll... Give them a get creative, I think, after this highlight. Hopefully, uh, MK Dons aren't going to score. Can we nick that? No, we can't. Of course, this is Boateng's former club as well. 
uh, where we signed him from. Candlin's done well there, but again, just giving it away. We are incapable of keeping possession right now. I should say, too, uh, last call for viewers, player of the season nominations. Oh, God. We'll be voting on that next episode, so uh, yeah, leave your nominations if you haven't already down in the comments, and uh, yeah, we'll vote, as I said, for Viewers Player of the Year next episode. Roberts makes a huge save. Oh, Liam Roberts might have just got himself a nomination or two there with that save, and eventually it's gone behind for a corner. We look so, so bad. Let's take it off that. Let's take it off of that. I think we're being a little bit too expressive, maybe. Um, we just need to settle in here, don't we? The expectation has clearly rattled them. And we look an extremely, extremely poor side right now. Cockrell Mollett gets it clear. And we come straight back for another highlight. Corey Roberts back to Liam Roberts. That was good calm defending. Let's hope that's a sign of things to come. Playing with our heads a little bit more. Roberts takes his time. Rolls it out to Jules. Jules lumps it forward towards Candlin. Candlin knocks it down for Gordon. Back to Redmond. All right. We're stringing passes together here, boys. This is good stuff. Kinsella, wide for Mitch Clark. Can he get a cross into the box? We've got two men in there. Three as Cockrell Mollett joins them. It's Candlin. It's towards goal, and it's just past the post. But that was better. That was much better. Let's give it a demand more here. Come on. Um, It's been a very, very poor first half from us, though, hasn't it? Uh, Half-time team talk's going to have to be a calm... Boys, what the hell was that? Redmond with a corner. It'd be a wonderful time to score, considering we've been terrible first half. Rame has it. It's there for Botang And Candlin's offside. He has to be. He is. Oh, slightly unlucky there. I thought Botang was going to get a goal against his former club for a second then. Rame's effort to Botang and he was offside. This, you know, we can't really complain about it. And that should be half time. It is. So neither team's particularly played well. Um, not happy, boys. We'll just tell Kinsella to watch his step. And we'll get back out there and just hope for a little bit more this half. Get creative, boys. Come on. Um, I do wonder if maybe if, if, we, if we settle down at halftime, if we can start to sort of be a little bit more ambitious here. Let's try exploit the middle. Let's raise that tempo back up and be more expressive again. Here we go. Clark throws it in for Gordon. Back to Clark. Clark back for Gordon in space. Back post for Cockrell Mullet. Oh, he's a goal scoring machine. A 12th goal of the season for a left back is absolutely ridiculous. Gordon's done really, really well there with the assist. He made the space for himself in the penalty area as well. Mitch Clark found him. Look at this run from Gordon. Just It's just intelligent, isn't it? Cross comes in. Cockrell Mullet's there. And it's another stunning finish from Callum Cockrell Mullet. 12th of the season for a left back. Incredible stuff. And let's hope now we can go and see this out. Bristol Rovers take the lead against Lincoln. Two of uh, the playoff contending teams there. Redmond has it. Wide for Mitch Clark. This is more like it. We look much better now. Clark for Candler. No, doesn't really find anybody. Heather away. Rame will pick up the loose ball. Rame goes back to Kinsella. Kinsella to Jules. Jules finds Cockrell Mollett again in space. Cockrell Mollett. Can he get a cross in? It's tackled away. Hacked clear, and it finds an MK Donald. He's getting himself sent off. Um, all right, so I think what we have to do here, drop Rame back in, and maybe just play like that. Needless to say, we go off of attacking now. We probably need to look to hit them on the break, don't we? Uh, we lower this tempo down. Uh, we be more disciplined. We waste time. We play for set pieces. We slow it down. Uh, and we probably want to just be compact, don't we? Make it difficult for them. If you're wondering why I left the strikers on, they have marking assignments to mark fullbacks getting forward. So that's why we've done that. Candlin has the ball here. Keeps possession nicely. Boateng goes forward looking for Clark. Does find Clark in space. Can he get across into the box? He can. Canlan's in the area. But it's headed away. And are we going to get caught getting too many men forward here, I wonder? Ball forward. We don't win possession there. MK Dons come streaming forward. It is a bit of a poor attempt there from Mitch Clark. Man into the penalty. He's offside. Surely he is offside. Okay. Got away with that though, boys, didn't we? Concentrate. 
How offside was it? He's, yeah, he's well off. He's well off. Wouldn't have scored it, I don't think, if he wasn't offside, would he? We're doing okay. We're doing okay. We've got a corner to defend here. Get that away. We do through Boateng. Not completely clear, though. Oh, I thought maybe the retreating striker might have got a foot in on that. Holding them up nicely, though. Making it difficult for them. That's all we can really ask of ourselves at this point. We're 20 minutes away from full time here. And of course, down a man. Mitch Clark gets that clear. Finds Josh Gordon. Gordon goes past one. Gordon goes past two. There's white shirts coming from everywhere. Gordon unleashes. And it does go past the post. Didn't really have too many other options there, though, did he? And it's another highlight. Ideally, this wouldn't be happening to us. Ideally, we wouldn't be seeing any highlights. Come on, boys. Keep your shape. Long ball forward. It's over the top. Healy is in. It's a stunning block from Corey Roberts. A really, really good defensive block tackle there. Let's uh, let's demand more. Corner to defend again. Away, boys. It's hit. It's bouncing around, and we've got away with that. It's a goal kick. We've really got away with that if it's a goal kick. Let's go defensive. Let's. Uh, what else do we want to do here? Let's maybe drop that line off a little bit. Try and prevent the ball over the top. Uh, let's maybe go with a time-wasting sub. Let's get Adebayo on for Candlin, who's not had a great game. A target man on support just to try and hold it up up there for us. Uh, and we'll call that a sub. We're almost there, boys. We're almost there. We're almost there. That's a really, really good win. Away from home with 10 men. A penalty save as well from the goalkeeper who definitely played his part in that. We weren't the best team in that game. But we were just good enough for long enough to get the goal. And we've got a really, really good win there. So there we go. We secure a playoff spot uh, with that result. Worst case scenario, we will be going to the playoffs looking for promotion. Boateng gets one over his former club. Kinsella gets himself a ban. Uh, Cockrell Mollett with yet another goal. He has been absolutely superb for us this season. And there we go. That is it for this episode. Now, the results have kind of gone our way there. All of a sudden, we, although we have played a game more, we're five points clear of Preston, eight points clear of uh, Bristol Rovers, and promotion is looking its looking more probable than possible at this point, uh, which is excellent. But guys, that is it for today. If you have enjoyed that, please do hit thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And we'll be back next time for... It will either be for Fleetwood in Tranmere or when we have a chance to, to get promoted. Um, the way it's looking, it, it, I don't think... What are we, eight points clear with a game in hand? Depends if Bristol City win their game in hand. It will likely be Fleetwood in Tranmere. It could be Ipswich. Uh, don't forget to leave your nominations. Last chance to leave your nominations for your favourite or best player of the season. And until next time, guys, I've been Ozzy Bell. And thank you so much for watching. Take care.